The documentation I downloaded for this radio includes full instructions on doing a visual alignment. So I have followed the directions and hooked up the generator, as they say, through a 0.1 microfarad capacitor down into this point inside the radio, and my scope is hooked up to the junction of these components here. What that shows me is this trace on the bottom, which is the response curve of the IF circuitry. This mess on the top here is the actual output of the sweep generator. So it's going from about 400 kilohertz on this side to 500 kilohertz here. And at 455, I've got this peak. So what I need to do for the alignment is to use this alignment tool, which is a piece of plastic shaved down like a flat-bladed screwdriver, to adjust the slugs. You don't want to use metal for this because the metal will actually affect the uh, characteristics of the tuning uh, circuitry. So there's some chains here. Keep an eye on the scope and uh, insert this tool into the bottom of the coils there. So there's a hole there. This will go right in there. And now I need to adjust it to get the highest peak I can. So obviously that's going the wrong way. So I go, it'll peak and then it'll start dropping again. So there it's dropping. So I need to go back a little bit. And right about there. And now I'll do the same for the other three slugs. And then finally I'll do that trimmer on the antenna. I just finished tweaking the second AMIF transformer and it was off a bit. I was able to increase the amplitude of the response by about 30%. What that means is I'll be able to pull in uh, faint distant stations even better now. That leaves one adjustment, which is the trimmer capacitor on the loop antenna itself. To do that, they have some instructions here. It says the signal should be inductively coupled to the loop antenna by connecting a four-turn, six-inch diameter loop of bell wire to the signal generator terminals, then locate this loop about one foot from the radio loop antenna. So I've pulled out some old phone wire. I'll strip away the outer jacket and remove one strand and I'll make, uh, make up a little loop antenna for my signal generator. Okay, here's my little antenna made with this red-orange wire. Going to my signal generator. I've got the internal modulation turned on so we can hear the 400 hertz tone coming out of the radio. Let's see when I tune this in. So basically I'm, I'm acting as my own little local AM transmitter here and the radio is picking it up. And you can see how directional this is. So right now the two loops are in uh, running parallel to each other but if I put this at a right turn the signal disappears. So you want to have it like this, so it's more or less parallel to this loop antenna, which is also like that. Now, what you're supposed to do is sweep it, not AM modulated, in effect FM modulated, and what that is, it gives me this trace on my scope here, and now I'm supposed to adjust that trimmer capacitor for a maximum amplitude. Okay, I finally got my tool so I can adjust the capacitor. And, there you guys, so you can see as I tweak this, it's actually increasing the response quite a bit. If I go too far, it drops down, go back the other way. And it's peaking right about there. So that was off a bit, and that second IF cam was off a bit, so between the two I should get a lot better reception now. So I will disconnect all my test probes and leads and whatnot, and set this radio back up as it would be normally used, and let's see how it sounds. Alright, let's give it a try. I'm familiar with the strong stations around here, like AM720 and AM780. What I'm curious to hear now is can I find any stations in between for more distant and faint transmitters? Okay, this is WGN, this is AM720, it's a real strong local station. 
It's just to the right of that. Sometimes I can pick up a station on a Toronto. AM740. Might be what this is. We're doing a Pearl Harbor tribute. Today is Pearl Harbor Day. Of the Empire of Japan. Oh, that's cool. I can pick that up. Nice and clear. Also, sometimes WGN, because it's so strong, it bleeds over, but. Well, I'm not hearing any bleed over from GN at all. Very cool. There's another station next to it. Sounds like it's a. Uh, Basketball game of some sort. A Michigan State. Okay, that probably AM 780 come blasting through really loud. I'm not sure what that is. I'm getting a lot of stations. Every time I just touch this dial, I pick up another station. And that's the value going through and doing an alignment. Something in French, maybe out of Montreal. That's crazy. So many stations are just practically on top of each other and picking up so much stuff. Property rights? I imagine if I hooked up an external antenna, I would pick up even more. So that's a brief overview of how you can align an AM radio using a swept uh, RF generator like this device. If you don't have one, you can also use a non-swept RF generator like this Heathkit IG-102. Covers the same bands, has the same internal AM modulators, you can hear those nice tones but it will not sweep, which means you cannot look on a scope and see that blip. You have to use a VTVM like this and just watch the needle deflection and, and go for the highest meter reading. If you're interested in seeing how you would do that, let me know and I'll record another video in this series. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this and I think I will do uh, one on aligning the FM portion of this radio next.